you've used liquid crystals yes. before. Um, it's, it's a really simple technology. It actually won the Nobel Prize. Um, the idea is, so what does it mean by a liquid crystal? Okay. A crystal you usually think of as a solid. Yes. Right. A solid meaning that you've got atoms in a regularly spaced pattern and they don't really move. Mm -hmm. In the liquid crystal, you've got molecules that are all sort of, uh, you can think of them as like rods, many tiny rods. They're molecules that are elongated and you can manipulate their direction using an electric field. Okay. Okay. So if you put an electric field in this direction, all of the molecules align in that direction. And you can have an electric field in this direction, which means all the molecules align in this direction. And what these molecules do is because they're small enough, they can actually influence the propagation of light. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so that's exactly how liquid crystal displays work. Mm -hmm. What you do is you have a backlight. Mm -hmm. Okay. That like lets, and then you have a polarizer that polarizes all the light. So all of the electric fields are propagating in one direction. And what you can do is you can have a liquid crystal interface mm -hmm. in between another polarizer. Mm -hmm. So now if the light gets to the other polarizer and it's polarized in the same direction, it's going to be let through. True. But if the light is polarized in a different direction, in the perpendicular direction, then it's going to be blocked. And what you can do is use an electric field to manipulate the liquid crystals in the middle mm -hmm. to influence the propagation of light. light on the other That's side. the fundamental technology. That makes sense. Okay. So you can have an electric field that sort of rotates the light. And then if it rotates in exactly the right way, then the light is going to go through and I'm going to see something. Mm -hmm. But if there's no electric field or if I make the electric field this way, then all the rods are going to be um, you know, sort of in the perpendicular direction, the light is not going to rotate and I'm going to get blocked. Yes. And that's fundamentally how liquid crystals work. Yes. There are these, they're liquid in the sense that, you know, just how in a liquid, the molecules can move around. Yes. In this case, these liquid molecules, these rod like molecules can move around and they can be controlled by an electric field mm -hmm. and they can be controlled by light yes. itself. Right. Yes. So, so it's, it's, it's a really cool little thing that they've made out of liquid crystals, mm -hmm. right? These are the LCDs. Mm -hmm. And and they made a, a macroscopic time crystal, okay? the And and what you can do is, w what's really cool is, first of all, you don't need a laser or uh, oscillating magnetic field like in those old mm -hmm. time crystals. In the old ones, you needed a quantum system and you needed a laser, which means coherent light, a single frequency, and then you, or like a magnetic field that's oscillating at a single frequency. And then that sort of, Drives. You know, drives this quantum system yeah. to, to do this periodic motion. This is just like a light. You just shine a light on it, and then it uses the energy from that light to create this periodic motion, okay? This is 